Bagat 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 Nathan Dive Twish now Get out I'll hold them inside Twish I have to Hello, welcome back to the 4 Bar Suckers. I'm going to play another game jam. We are doing weekly game jam week 132, and the theme is Deep Dive. We have got 55 entries. The competition is now closed. There's plenty to choose from. Most on the underwater theme, but there are some variations on that. And let's, uh, let's pick five or six of the best. First up is Explorer of Depths, and this is by Violet Abstract. And you are a submarine that must explore the ocean depths whilst completing various contracts. Clear the sea of evil creatures. Okay. All right, we're in. It's uh, made in Unity. Uh, let's. So we've got left click to shoot, right click for mines, kill boss to win, kill boss to win. Okay, there's a boss. I like that. Yeah, easy contract for kill 15 enemies for 15 dollars hard contract kill 10 enemies without letting oxygen go under 70 for a hundred dollars we'll go easy first just to see what we got okay okay so look look we got we like a little sub are they, are these bad guys they are bad guys i'm sure <laughs> what they say wow okay so we've got oxygen health dollars Depth and weapon machine gun on the left hand side. So I've just got to kill enemies in this one, is that right? Oh, I like the art style, very crisp. I like the 3D elements of the, uh, of the, they're coming from both sides. Let's try, let's try mine. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, yes, take that. So I'm guessing those oxygen bubbles, let me go get one. Let's have a look at the oxygen rating. Yes, so you can use the oxygen bubbles. To uh, to top yourself up. Oh, nice bit of inertia on the control of the sub. Yeah, I do like that little sub. It's like Fantastic Voyage. Okay, so we're just looking for bad guys in this one. Let's try and drop a mine on them. Drip. Drop a mine. Drop a. Uh, drop a. Yes. It's going to take a bit of finessing. So let's go deep. Let's go deep. Okay, we're going down. Going down. Can I get in there? Can I get in there? Let's squeeze it. Is there damage from? There's no damage from hitting the surroundings. Good. Uh, I like the uh, I like the uh, the gun control. I like the spinning. And I like the way the lights light up the um, the area around it. It's a nifty effect. Works really well. Okay. Would like a little um, uh, other game sound to uh, hide up the whirring of my machine in the background. Always useful. Maybe just some some underwater stuff. All right, so we're doing well. We're doing well. I think we've got this one aced. Let's even go any deeper then. That's the edge of the map there. I can't find any way down. Oh, oh, sweet baby Jesus. Where did he come from? Wow! I like the sound they make. I've got to keep an eye on that oxygen. Can you fill it up by going back to your craft or something? What? Oh, yeah, well, so that's what happens when you go in there. You can go to the shop or the contract. I don't know. I like the idea of a shop, an underwater shop. Oh, 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 you can. Oh, I just sort of bounced off one there. Okay, we did it. You can sort of just do this and just and find where the enemies are coming from. No, it doesn't work at all. Like a sort of sonar. Okay, we did it. Do we go back? Wait, what, what did we have to do? What did they say we had to do? Go to the shop. Light upgrade, oxygen upgrade, engine upgrade, hull. I like that. Okay, so we've got upgrades. Contract. Okay, we, we did it. We did it. Beat 10 enemies without grabbing a bubble. 
Okay, we're going to go for 10 enemies without health going below 6. That sounds a bit more. New weapon. New weapon. Oh! We've got a laser. We got a laser. So can I. And we can. Um, and do we go back to the other weapon? Oh, we do go. We can go back to the other weapon. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so I've got to watch my health. <clears throat> They're coming thick and fast in this one. So has the map changed? Or is the map the same? Let's go see. They're a lot more salty, a lot more sweaty, as my 11 year old would say. Oh, this sounds like a dead end. It's the same map, I think. Wow, he's. He's, he's not going away, that one. Did we get him? We've still got the mines. We've still got the mines. Well, let's get in there. Oh, oh, okay, we did it. <clears throat> Ten enemies without taking damage. I think we can do that. Look, oh, he says. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, did I just see something else? We've still got the laser. Good. Ten enemies without taking damage. I do want to go to the shop. I dance. I dance. What? Oh, oh what? 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 I just failed the contract. I wanted to go to the shop. Okay, we'll kill ten enemies without, without letting the oxygen go underneath. I feel like the map had changed then as well. Had it changed then? That was, you know, that's a shame. I'm not sure whether it changed him, but I was, I was interested to find out. <laughs> My little minds go. All right, I like this. I think it's a nice little game. It's very tidy. It's very sharp. I, um, I think it's definitely got the, uh, the theme down to power. I love the graphics. I would like a little bit more money so I could go spending in the shop. That would be super. No thanks! Um. Yeah, I would like to see the effects of some of the uh, additions. Okay, we've got a little money. Light upgrade, <coughs> oxygen upgrade. It's probably going to be useful, isn't it? Can I get that? Have I got it? Did I get it? I think I did. Okay, so with the oxygen upgrade, I'll probably be able to do some of the other quests. Actually, the uh, the one that where you can't you can't go below a certain amount of oxygen. You can't use the bubbles. Yes, I think I can do that. Oh, I've got the other weapon now, haven't I? Oh look, the way the gun changes. The gun changes. That's a nice little graphic. Look, the little gun little gun changes on the front of your ship. What is my mission? Uh, it's not taking sixty damage. Not below sixty health, isn't it? That's what this one is. I can take the oxygen. Oh, there's something nearby. So you can do this, and if something's incoming, you can spot it. I've come up with Sona. I've invented Sona in the game. Making up my own sound effects. Okay, we did the contract. Contract! Eye to eye. Contract! I, I know. I know. Kill 10 enemies without taking damage. That seems a lot. Kill 10 enemies without letting oxygen go into 60. 
That seems feasible. New weapon. What have we got here? Oh my god. Wow, wow like torpedoes. What? Fire it! Fire it, goddammit, sir! Wow, okay, so, uh. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. What is the contract again? I've forgotten the contract already. I think we're on a different map. Let's go down. Back you. Wow, these things come on thick and fast. I, I think we are on a little bit of a different map. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps it's just a different colour. See how easy I am to fool. Oh, oh, oh we did it. I want to get to the boss. I want to get to the boss. Get off me, you lot. Get off. This is getting a good contract. Contract. What have we got? Hard contract to kill. Buford. Buford is a dead man. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I feel like the laser's the easiest to use. This is definitely a different map. Okay, Bufford. Wait a minute, can we get in the shop? Oh, I don't like the way they're stacking up there. Die. 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 Uh, what have we got money-wise? We've got a hundred dollars. I don't think we can get anything with a hundred dollars. Get lost! Get lost! I don't even get out of it! Okay, let's find Bufford. Oh, God almighty. I'm getting cut up in there. I can't get down there. I can't get down there. That is tricky. It's very tricky to get out of this. Squeeze them in here. Oh. Ah! Uh, oh god, I've got this far only to get cornered and killed in this little area here. Oh no, I didn't like see Buffett then. Go! 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 I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm... Oh, I am oh, under oh. the water. Please help me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe it's for the best that I didn't see the boss see Buffett. Maybe it's up for you guys to go complete this and... But I totally enjoyed that. That's a cool little game. And uh, get yourselves over to itch.io and try that one out. Okay, next up we have Deep Down. And this is by Canoe. And the cave is full of dangers. Go as deep as you can, but don't get distracted. If you aren't fast enough, you'll die anyway. Oh. All right, we're in. Uh, just play. We'll just play them. Oh, well, okay. So... Different theme, deep down. We're not. They haven't gone for the underwater theme. They've gone for uh, like a uh, spelunking cave, cave exploring. So we've got our cat here. Cool little cat. He's got a bow. Can jump. Can't duck. Okay, we know the parameters. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. Do, can we jump over this? I think this. Is... Ooh. All right. Like the music. Hmm. Okay. So. Okay, we've got to keep moving because the, 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 it's scrolling anyway. What are you? 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 You're, you're nothing. What? Okay, what? 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 No, no, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right, anyone who's seen any of my uh, playthroughs will know that uh, platformers are not one of my strengths. <laughs> Lovely animation. Well, that's sped up. That's sped up. That's cheated. No. No, that's sped up. Depth 43. Okay. I've got to go a lot faster than, than I'm going. Right. All right. I'm off. Come on. Keep up with me, game. Keep up with me. Uh, 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 oh, my God. Okay. Yes. Yes. I can't get up there. Okay, I've lost some health. It doesn't matter. I can't get back up there. What do I do? Let me throw it! Let me throw it! No! What do you have to do to get through that? Okay, 43. Alright. The dreaded 43. Right. Love this 8-bit music. It's super cool. What's going on here? Oh. What? What? That, that hurts? Oh my god. Oh wow, it's done something to my arrows. 
Get in there, get in there, I've got my arrows back, I've got, got super arrows. What, you, you uh, forget you, forget about it. Ah, you got to shoot that thing at the top, the eye of it. Alright, fine, okay, I'm understanding. I think I'm already past 43. I'm just, as you can hear, just spamming click like crazy. Let's go. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Ooh, ah, ah, oh no! No, fall down. Alright. What have I got? 83. Alright, this is tricky. I like it though, if I can just quickly appraise what I'm seeing. I love the, uh, I love the sort of, the pixel style graphics. It's uh, very reminiscent of uh, a retro games that you'd be able to play in my day and age. Back when I was a boy. Oh no, 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 no. And the, uh, love the music. Music design superb. Uh, oh, oh no, oh no, I bit off a bit more than I could chew there. Wow, did you see what I did then? Oh wow, okay. It always helps when you understand. Oh, I finally got a dying animation instead of just being crushed under the depths of the cave disappearing. Nice little dying animation. Well, I like this. Okay. It's nice. It's a. Uh, I like that. I love that little. Uh, that move there. Okay, that spider thing is a very cool animation. You get out the way. You get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. I haven't got time to wait. Oh yeah, yeah. So you just, you know, as I say, these aren't my, not my strength. These sort of games. Don't really know how to play them that well. Uh, uh, no, no. Oh, I'm gonna get crushed. I'm gonna get crushed. Get off. 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 No, no. Good to me. 113. So does this just keep going, I wonder? Or if there is there something? Is there a pot of gold at the bottom? I haven't got time for the chests. I ain't got time to bleed. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, I don't know what I did then. So you just, I'm just, just scared over those guys. Got the triple shot? I wanted the triple shot then. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I'm, I'm just going to aim to try and stay at the bottom of the screen here. I'm going to forgo all skills, which isn't difficult. Oh, I've got much health left. I think I need a chest. Uh-oh. Spending too long on this guy. Spending too long. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Come on. Oh, forget about it. Forget about you. Oh, no. Speeding up now. Okay. That's useful. Oh, are we reaching a new depth here? Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, using that to great advantage. Look at the skills, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> he says. He says. 190 crushed by many atmospheres. Right, one more go. Because I am actually getting addicted to this. This is a very cool game. The music really gives you a sort of, it's got a real sense of purpose, the music. I'm going to jump over you. I'm going to come this way. I'm going to come at you a different way. Yeah. I feel like you're on some sort of special mission. Oh my god, I think I just shaved off most of my health there. That's a good technique. The techniques are coming in. Hey, uh. Oh, that's going to be bad. That's going to be, this is going to be bad. This is all bad. All bad. All bad. All bad. No! Oh, one more go, just one more go, okay. Might be better to play with the controller, you won't have to listen to me going. <laughs> I will actually jump over there before we finish as well and take a look at the credits. Shoot it! Shoot these goddamn things. How come I got one heart? What do they, do these things hurt if you run into them? They do hurt. I have only just learned that having run into them again and again and again. All right, life is a slow release from ignorance. Let's have a look at the credits. Yes, that's clever. I like the way you do this. So we've got Anna Lambias, uh, Ramon Cano, Xavier. I'm going to kill that name. Puyola, Puyola, and Enric Bavar Centelles. And the music, wonderfully, is by Nicole Marie T. Oh, I'm sorry if I murdered your names. 
I'm just a stupid man. All right, great game. Really enjoyed that one. I like the theme that haven't gone for the music. The, uh, the music, haven't gone for the underwater theme. You've gone for uh, exploring the depths of caves. It's, uh, it's a nice variation. Just have one sneaky, sneaky one more go. No, don't write those things. Don't get, don't get off that. Ugh. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna do it this time. I can just ignore you guys. Get out of here. Oh, uh, uh. No, no. Don't run into that this time. No, my God, my shooting's awful. Oh, just, Alright, next up is Cosmos. Uh, you get this uh, disclaimer at the start. I must be 18 plus to view the content. Okay. It's by Analog Lim. And uh, so, the, most of us did it to a VR drug called Feed, where they spend all, li all of their life online. So, it, it, you have to dive. The dive theme, I think, is similar to the diving in um, Ghost in the Shell. Sort of diving down, I'm not sure. But there you go. Let's try it out. Okay, Cosmos, it's Ren Pi. Ren Pi? I still don't know how to pronounce that. I still don't know. After almost three years of doing this, I still don't know. Yeah, 208. Yeah, 2087. Barrier City. And Lorne Province? New World. Most of the world is addicted to a VR drug called The Feed, where they spend online all their life. Everything is connected. Controlled by a powerful hyper corporations like Tubic Volts and Axel Dynamics, love those names, who manufacture the VR consoles everybody uses to connect to the feed. Okay. There is a dark version of the feed called the Void, where data runners, feed hackers, and data miners, splice coders, live and work clandestine. Lee. I'm going to put Lee on the end there. You are Nathan Serco. Retired data runner inside the feed. I'm gonna have an. I'm, I'm gonna try and avoid doing an American accent again. I just slip into an American accent. I don't know why I do it. Habitant, a barrier city, Alone Province, New World. <sighs> okay, right. So I, I, I'm, ooh, I'm liking the sort of graphic style. It's got a matrixy feel to it, hasn't it? Barrier city. The towering skyscrapers where floating inside the thick smog coming from the hydropower plants in the belly were were not where. Were skyscrapers, skyscrapers were floating inside the thick smog coming from the hydro power blah 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 blah. blah. Barrier City, the towering skyscrapers were floating inside the thick smog coming from the hydro power plants in the belly of the city. The never ending rain swept the high streets and alleyways as the suspended rail, the city train, jumped through the grey skyline, moving people to their jobs. The flying cars were swarming the skyline like ants. The rain dripped all over the walls of Nathan's small apartment. There were a few holes in the ceiling, but Nathan didn't have time to fix them. The rent at the decrepit Prask Droit Hotel wasn't cheap, and everything around was falling apart. First his job, then his life, now his wife. I think his wife's died. Art style is cool, just quickly step outside. Art style is cool, it's very indistinct, but I like it. The air inside the apartment was thick with smoke from the cigars Nathan was smoking all the time. That would do it. A more rum and whiskey glass was left half empty on the nightstand. Nathan took a swig and felt the hot liquid fall deep in the, into his gut. It's like a hard living man, isn't he? Smoking and drinking. His counter console he used to deep dive deep into the feed was beeping around him. So there you go, there's the there's the dive reference. We're into the diving deep. There you go, it's there. He felt a strange feeling, like someone was watching his every move. The city map was open on a wet wall. Water was dripping over the electric tags. Somewhere inside Barrier City, Viker, his wife was lost, kidnapped. He searched for almost a month. He searched for her for almost a month. The pole forced interrogations led to nothing. Nobody wanted anything to do with the data runner. He started chasing the whorehouse clients on his own, tracking their accounts for news about Viker, but there was nothing. 
He was going around in circles. He hacked the population registry, XOD terminals, and finally found Vikers eSync. He couldn't call. He, he couldn't call the location of her tag, but she was still alive. He rewatched the vid logs from the war, whorehouse so many times that he'd lost count. Uh, what you do in your own time is up to you. All the vid logs from that day were artifact degraded. The moment when Viker was taken, right after her, ha her act on the main stage of the whorehouse, someone covered their tracks really well. His wife was working in the whorehouse. Not looking after her that well, are you, mate? Ooh. Nathan opens a private terminal and runs an ice firewall. He checks his contacts in the void, all his hacker buddies, only one of them replies back. Twish B, data miner. There's Twish B. Nathan had worked several jobs with Twish over the years, so he trusted the man. He was a good miner. They'd drained the void several times together, running deals with other data runners. But now he felt somewhat hesitant. Twish. What's up, Bones? <laughs> What's up, Bones? Nathan, hey Twish, bad things going on. How's your world? Sort of a Batman-esque voice there. Twish, just some random drill jobs, making a buck. I love spectating the Axel Dynamics job you pulled last week. Pretty good glitches, man. Damn, I'm getting old. I'm not used to have a shadow. You're a sneaky one. Twish, nah man, I'm no stinking shadow. I had a filter code installed in your connection. <laughs> It was running in the background, following your tracks. I wanted to keep an eye on you. That's a nice touch, man. But one of these days, you're gonna get busted. Nah, I'm a ghost. So what were they hiding? Some data was protected, but I managed to get some personal account numbers. I've been trying to sell them to the Chinese for a week now. No luck. There's a line tracker on them. Sweet honey, what else? I need to find her. Twish. I haven't got time for small chat, man. Viker's fucking missing. Hey, call your ship, Bones. That's why I'm here. How can I help? Is your connection secure? I'm uber protected, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing and no one can touch me here. Not even you, Bones. Sorry for being so paranoid. During the actual job, I got picked up by Norwell Security. I barely got out. I didn't want those psychos on our neck while we're doing this thing. Twist. Chill. Me digs is yo digs. Spill the butter, man. Who we robbing? We're gonna drill the whole house feed. Dive inside the void to drown Vika's sink. She, you got balls, man. Thank you. I got nice balls. Thank you. That's very really nice. I've got nothing to lose. Let's dive. Okay, so we're diving into it into a feed get data what I got from that sorry about the accents Nathan opens a dark alley inside the whorehouse connection he splins the he splins he spins the connection key and drills right through the mainframe all right twitch all right burn baby burn Nathan watch out for daisies they used to hide them all over this hole they attached to your connection and piloted in the ice daisy. it's a daisy the connection becomes unstable. Twish restores the protocols and forwards a new connection. Twish. I'm secure now. I'm right behind you. Let's go. Twish has got the most annoying accent. Nathan dives through the whorehouse mainframe, opens data packets for personal files, vid logs, and private folders. He finds it he finds a hidden secure vault with a tetra vault lock. Nathan. God damn it. This is new. It wasn't here last week when I first opened this. The Tetra Vault is the Guardian. Twish. No fucking way, man. The Russians built them really tight. Haven't been able to open one in a decade. Don't know what code they use, but it's as tough as nails. Nathan, open your toes, sir. I'm sending you a PIY data torch. Twish. No way, man! <laughs> I can't, I gotta stop doing it. Where did you get one? I thought they destroyed every copy inside the void years ago. Nathan, traded it for a couple of scutcher from a colonist. 
here. Catch. Twish receives the torch and begins to open the lock. There's a lot of terms here I don't understand. Nathan, I'll watch our backs. Let me know when you're true. He means through. Twish uses the torch to burn the lock's code. Twist. Yeah, baby, come on! There's a low emitter signal coming from the lock. Nathan. Damn! Lock just sent power signals to Vault Secure. They'll be here in a couple of minutes. Twish. How long do we have? Nathan. Not long. Burn it! Twish. On it! A couple of inches more. My accent's changing. Twish breaks the protocols and opens the whorehouse secure vault. Nathan browses through streams of data and finds a jamming amber floating inside the vault. Nathan. This is it. This is the jammer that degraded the vid logs. I need to dismantle it so I can see what happened to her. Twish. The vault's on their way, man. Can you do this on your own? Nathan. No, Twish. I need your tool set. Twish. Here, take it. I'm going to install a barricade here, but it's not going to last when those pricks arrive. Nathan opens the jamming amber and starts to rotate the cipher. Spiraling code starts to float all around their connection. Here it goes. Four, E, K, three, P, M, three, U, D five, H four, S three, J six, four, D seven, K four, K four, E four, U one. It's done. Nathan excels inside the cipher. There's a dot code key. He uncovers it inside his console. Nathan opens a duct drive on his console and makes a perfect copy of the whorehouse mainframe. Twish. The vaults are here! The vault secures start to burn through the barricade. Twish. Bones! We need to get the head out of here! Like right now! Nathan. Two more minutes. I need everything on their mainframe. She must be here somewhere. Twish. I don't think we have to... Twish connection starts to break up. No! What the... It's a firewall. Hot the but get into Nathan. Dive Twish now. Get out. I'll hold them inside. Twish. I have to uh, come. Yep. Twish's connection gets destroyed. The vault secure getting inside the vault. Nathan makes a shadow copy of his connection and sends it to his own console. He then locks himself inside the secure vault. The vault secure swarm his connection and destroy his code. Nathan exits the void and floats a secure connection inside the feed. He tracks the main whorehouse feed until the connection gets locked. He did it. He exits the feed and opens the dot drive on his console. All the whorehouse data is there. He checks the data bank, but it's all encoded. Blue Nafer dot dot. Nathan sighs. He knew it wasn't going to be easy. All right, I think that is. I think that's a great introduction to Cosmos. It's got real shades of uh, some of the great cyberpunk uh, writers like William Gibson, uh, Bruce Sterling, Neil Stevenson, and if anyone of you read any uh, cyberpunk stuff, probably from the from the sort of early '90s when it really hit, then it's got a real feel of that. Um, I really enjoyed that. I, I'm going to carry on playing it, but I think I always always leave the crowd looking for more, and I don't want to play it to completion. But um, excuse the accents again, you know, can't help it. But um, there you go, that's Cosmos. Go and play it. Okay, last but not least, it's the Marianas Treasure, and this is by the wonderful Isaac Bolton. Uh, I can't look the look of the graphic style, so let's have a little tickle. Okay, um, um, we're off. We're off. But, uh, I've got. I should have read the instructions first. Oh, watch that boat. Hello. Hello. Yeah, okay, just do the little airstrokes. I like the force field around the boat. How you doing? So, uh, oxygen bar at the bottom. I've got to get coins and bring them back up to the boat. You can unload the coins at the boat so you're not so heavy. Presumably if I fill my pockets full of doubloons, oh, then I can't get back to the surface. So, uh, I like the uh, I like the graphic style. So, that's uh, very pretty. 
Is that, is that a coin or is that oxygen? It looks like oxygen. Right, I'll go back to the boat and unload. Oh, it's simple as that. Unload the. Uh, I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Where's the push space? I was drowning that off screen. Sorry for it. What was that? Okay, so the, the, the day two. Day two already. I've got to uh, collect how many coins now? Uh, so, the little treasure chest at the bottom, 8 of 15. Hi. I like the year. I like the water sound effect. I like the character animation. Okay, so that's. I thought that was like an oxygen bubble, that uh, silver one, but I think it is. So, uh, the more coins you collect, the harder it is to get to the seventh. Okay. Done them on the boat, right? Done it, okay. Simple as that. Day three. Right, oh, wow, coins everywhere. So, I presume if I get too many, I'm just going to be greedy in this one. Get up to the top of another coin. That's greed for you, isn't it? So you naturally sort of think those aren't oxygen bubbles, they're like silver coins. So we're, at day, we're still at day three. Okay, we're still at day three. Let's try and get some more. Can't get over there. Get up to the top. Oh, oh. Get across to the boat. And my little friend there. Why don't you get in? Why am I doing all the work? Alright, so uh, how many? Uh, 11 of 25. I'm going to get a load more coins from here. Okay. The coins just seem to be floating in mid sea. I like floating gold. 19 of 25, almost there. Dive, my friend, dive. I like the seafloor graphic. Uh, oh, I can't get at those. Let, let me at those. Oh, I, can't, I can't, actually can't see many more coins. Is that because I died? I'm, I've messed it up a little bit. What am I going to do, mate? T tell me what to do. I'm just going to do this for a bit. It's very peaceful, isn't it? Very peaceful, let's go. Let's go, okay. We've missed some coins. I think it might be that I died. I died with a lot of coins on me, and now the coins haven't reset, possibly. Just dip into the boat. Look at the skills. Look at the skills. And I can't get at these. Which wouldn't be enough anyway. Right, okay. Might need to reset. Wait a second. Alright, we're back. It's day one again. It's time to make a little bit of progression on this. Okay. Don't make the mistake of getting too many coins at once. It was like a treasure chest I picked up. It was that busy clamouring for more gold that I didn't really pay that much attention. That thing, that treasure chest, that is particularly heavy. I am slow, but I'm over the I'm over the coin quota. No, I used to say the coin quota. Sixteen of fifteen. All right. A bit of air. I never go down again. That's why I like it. I like it. I think it's kind of a, quite satisfying. I would like more of an area to dive in, obviously, but you know, this game jam. It's not getting greedy, maybe a bit more oxygen, a bit more oxygen. 7 of 25. How am I meant to get 7 of 25? Do things like crates, the, uh, the chests have more than one gold coin in. But, well, a uh, gold coin is worth 2. Alright, get him, uh, get him, he's counting the money in there. He's counting the money. Uh, nice, uh, a nice sort of sun effect on the on the surface. Reminds me of a Greek holiday. Come back here, you. Come back here, you. Yes, yes. Twenty of twenty-five. But um, but I'm out of coins. I'm goddamn out of coins. You, you're cheating me, sir. What are you doing? Has he got some tucked away? Twenty of twenty-five. That's it. I can't. There's, there's no more. Unless I'm being stupid, which is always the case. Can't swim anymore that way. Can't swim down here. Do a real deep dive. <laughs> Anything in the corner here? No, no. All right, so you can't get you can't get past level three. Day three. You have cheated me, sir. All right, but uh, yeah, enjoyable, good graphic style. Good uh, character animation and the uh, the uh, controls work really well. Uh, I love the uh, the sound effects, the depth on it and so on. But I would like to be able to finish day three. Let's swim back to the boat and let's uh, let's call it a day. Let's go for a cup of tea. Okay, that's it from me. I was uh, hoping to do a few more, but uh, a lot of the ones I can't play for whatever reason. I'm sure it's to do with me and my stupidity. But um, there you go. It's the weekly game jam one three two. It's over now. 
but um, all the games are still there available to play on itch.io and uh, get yourself over there and fill your boots I hope you liked the video if you did hit the like button or please subscribe that would be lovely all right take care of yourselves bye bye